Kevin. You hot enough yet? Yeah, it's getting there. We, we got to turn the cooler on high here pretty quick. Uh, just had a question. Just came in. Now, wait a minute. You guys have been talking about wire. All kinds of different sizes of wire. You got 023, 024. You know, you got 030. You got, you know, uh, uh, 035. You know, and there's many, many different sizes, different diameters of wire. How do you know what wire, what size to use? When? You know, why would I change? You know, go from the 030 that I normally run in a MIG, put on the 024, or go up to 035? Well, that's a really good question. The biggest thing that I try to keep in mind when I'm deciding what wire to use or what wire to leave in uh, is how good is my fit? You know, how good is the fit up that I'm going to be welding? So when you've got a nice tight uh, fit on whatever joint you're trying to make, well, I can always go to the smaller wire. The 16th if I'm TIG welding, you know, the 024 if I'm using the MIG welder. You know, if my gap, you know, if my fit is not quite right, which is the way it normally is, <laughs> you know, if, if I've got some little little gaps in there that I'm going to have to fill in, well, I'll bump up a size. You know, I, I can go to the 332nd filler wire for the TIG welder, you know, I'll go to the 030 and the, the MIG welder. You know, just give me a little more metal that I can dump on the weld as I'm, as I'm working. But now if I've got, you know, a big old gap, if I've got a real big mess I'm trying to stick back together, and then I, I'll go up to the eighth inch on the, the TIG wire, or, you know, go up to the 035, you know, or 04, 040, I think it is, the next size up, you know, for the MIG, wire, the MIG welder, you know, just to give me some more metal I can dump on there to try and fill in some of the gaps. What, what if you don't have all those different sizes? What do you do? If, it, uh, if all you've got is, you know, like a 16, or, you know, you've got like 024 in your MIG gun, in your MIG welder, but you've got a big old gap to fill, you put in more wire. You know, you turn up your wire feed. You just feed faster. You know, you get two of them, pull two of them together, and feed two of them at the same time. You know, give you twice as much wire for the same movement. You know, there's always ways to cheat. Now, if all you've got is like the eighth inch, but you've got this nice, tight, fine little gap right there that you really wish you had, you know, something smaller than a 16. But you know, one thing I have done in that instance where I had a real big filler wire and I had a real small hole, and I didn't want to dump you know, all of that metal on there, get your hammer and just pound it down, you know, roll it. Twist it as you're going, tap, 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 tap. Just smoosh it down, you know, make it a little smaller in diameter. You know, it works, okay. Uh, you know, it works better with like a coat hanger, because a coat hanger is softer, you know, where these are a little bit harder. But now, something to keep in mind, though, when you're changing wire sizes, wire diameters, whether it's, whether it's filler rod or whether it's, you know, spool, spool wire in your, in your MIG welder, don't forget to change your, your tip size, be your MIG gun, you know, for the different size wires that you're using. You might even change the uh, tungsten in your TIG welder, you know, a sixteenth for the sixteenth wire, you know, an eighth of an inch for the eighth inch wire, because you're going to be changing your amperages or your voltage if you're using the MIG to put enough power on there to help melt that bigger wire. So don't forget to do you know, your homework on that side, on the machine side. Make sure your machine is set up correctly to go with the different thicknesses of wire that you're going to be using. But just a few things to keep in mind. You know, changing these, changing your settings, changing your tips, changing your tungstens. I hope that helps. You know, I hope that kind of answers your question. And now, just do me a favor. Look right over there and go ahead and click on that subscribe button for me. And if you get the chance, Pop out to my website, come check out what I'm doing over there, come sign up for my newsletter. I would appreciate it. I'm going to go back to work. We'll see you next time. Do you think anybody will notice that it's steel filler wire and aluminum? Well, I hope not, but if they do, you know you'll oh, hear, I'll hear about, about it. it. Right down there. <laughs>